so this is a transistor equivalent circuit this is called beta re model so this is base collector and emitter here we have beta re base current this is a dependent current source beta ib r not output resistance this is emitter so r not usually it will be given in the question itself but if at all you want to find out r not you go for you have to do conduct uh, in the lab and find out change in vce to change in ic that will give you r not so generally this will be given in the question itself now coming to re at room temperature the value is 26 millivolts by ie okay this capital ie you have to find with dc analysis not ac analysis this you have to be very careful okay so the next step will be this is one question so our uh, aim is we have to find ie so this capacitance and this capacitance will act as a open circuit so that's what is given here so why we are doing dc analysis we have to find out ie okay now this i assume this is a silicon transistor therefore with respect to ground this point is 0.7 volts here it is given as 12 volts so what is the voltage drop here 12 minus 0.7 will be the voltage drop here across rb therefore ib is what 12 minus 0.7 divided by rb so the rb value is given in the question itself it is 470k on simplification you will be getting 24.04 microamps now first part is over with this we can find out what uh, ie so we know that ie is equal to ib plus ic ib plus ic is beta times ib you take ib as common which is 1 plus beta so in the question itself it is given as beta value is 100 100 plus 1 is 101 into ib value we just know we found out which is 24.04 microamps ie is equal to on simplification you will be getting 2.428 milliamps now uh, we need beta re beta is given in the question itself as 100 re we already i told you it is 26 millivolts by ie ie value just now we have found out this is constant for room temperature so you will be getting 1.071 kilo ohm kilo ohms now we have to go for ac analysis in ac analysis we have to keep in mind capacitor capacitor acts as a short circuit and all the dc sources should be grounded connected to ground short circuited to ground okay so in ac analysis this will act as short circuit this is short circuit and this dc source will become ground so after doing all these things you will see the circuit like this okay that means rb is connected between base and ground rc is connected between collector and ground that's what is drawn here here we take the output v not v in and z not this portion alone is now replaced by the beta re model or transistor equivalent model that's what is done here already this is the transistor between base and ground we have rb and between collector and uh, ground we have rc now z in we are viewing from here so that is rb in parallel with beta re rb we know 470k beta re just now we have found out both are in parallel roughly the value is going to be 1.07 kilo ohm so this circuit and this circuit both are same now from ib we need ib ib is base current sorry this is i in input current and this is base current so v in is here so in parallel connection voltage will be same so v in means here also v in v in by beta re you keep that answer as it is now coming to the output side this r not and rc in parallel that is the output impedance now i want v out v out is what beta ib is the current flowing here here i made a mistake current multiplied by resistance is voltage
into R naught parallel with R C. Okay. So beta I B is the current. Current multiplied by the resistance value or Z naught will give you V out. So now what is Z naught? R naught parallel with R C. So that's what R naught parallel with R C. R naught is given in the question itself, which is 50 k, and R C we know it is 3 k from the circuit diagram. On simplification, you will be getting 2.83 kilo ohm. Now V out is equal to 100. That is the here I told you V out is beta I B. Beta is given in the question 100. 100 IB is what V in by beta R E, then Z naught. Now you move this V naught to the other side, so voltage gain is equal to V out by V in, which is equal to 100 by 1.071 K. This beta R E value multiplied by Z naught, this value. On simplification, you will be getting 264.24. This minus sign indicates with respect to ground, the output is negative. Thank you.